Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two of the quarantine. It's very exciting, I know. I just wanted to let you know a couple of things that may or may not be confusing for you right now. Um, before I do that, though, I wanted to say thank you to those of you who have already been completing assignments. You are amazing. You make my life so much easier. And honestly, you are making your lives so much easier because you'll have less to catch up on later. Um, so the biggest update that I have for you is that we have been instructed by administration that assignments, we're not going to put due dates on those assignments right now. Um, I'm going to give you suggested due dates of when I want those things completed, but you have this quarantine period to get your work done. So not all of your assignments are going to show up on the upcoming assignments menu when you open up your Schoology. So what you need to be doing is every day when you log into Schoology, go into the week of, and this is the week of the 16th through the 20th or whatever, and go through and make sure if there are assignments there that you are working on those assignments and completing those assignments. The Hamlet test is the exception. Um, I have that due date as being by the end of this week, and I do want you to make sure that you have completed it by that time, because next week we are in full Frankenstein mode, and it just doesn't make sense for you to be still concentrating on Hamlet when we're doing Frankenstein. That's just silly, okay? So please make sure that you take that test by the end of the day Friday. And if there is some reason why you can't do that, um, if you are ill, if you've got family issues, just email me and let me know so that I don't think you've just disappeared off the face of the earth, okay? Um, for this week, though, um, just a quick reminder of what you need to be working on. My English students, um, you have that discussion board open. So if you have questions about Hamlet before you take the test, post those there. Um, I will respond. Number two is the Hamlet test itself. You've got an hour, just like you would in class. Um, you get one submission. If you have any technical difficulties, if it boots you off or something, email me. Number three is working on and submitting your Deceit in Hamlet essay. The submission is open. Submit that as soon as you're ready. If you want me to look at a draft before you submit, if you want to um, talk to me about some issues you're having or throw questions at me, shoot me an email. We will I can do that. I am here. I would be happy to do that. Um, but that essay is thing number three. And then four and five have to do with Frankenstein. There are notes that you need to review, two sets. Um, they are PowerPoints. One is an intro to Romanticism, which is this new period of literary history that we're moving into. And number two is this intro to Frankenstein, where I just review for you really briefly concepts like frame story, which we've talked about before, um, an epistolary novel, which is probably going to be a new concept, um, and also uh, polar expeditions, which is a historical tidbit that is going to be very important. Um, so you'll review those, and then I'm asking that by also by the end of this week that you open up your Frankenstein and read the first section, which is called the letters. And once it hits chapter one, it'll say chapter one, you can stop unless you want to get ahead. Okay, English folks, that is your job. Get it done, and if you are having problems getting that done, email me sooner rather than later, okay? These are all going in as grades. I can't grade it if I don't get it. American Horror, um, you guys have a discussion board where you are posting about um, the elements of horror in our current health situation. Very exciting, very fun. Um, actually, amend that. Not a discussion board, it's just a submission. Um, that is on Schoology under your folder. It says, are we living in a horror movie? Um, there is also an assignment that says, who is Ray Bradbury? I want you to spend 
I don't know, maybe 15 minutes looking through Ray Bradbury's author website and just reading a little bit about his life. Some of you are going to be familiar with him as the author of Fahrenheit 451, uh, but he has also written some horror. Um, then there is an assignment under I Am Legend Excerpt and Analysis, which at least one person has completed already. Whoop, whoop. Uh, that is a reading that will probably take you anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, just depends on how fast you read. And then there are a set of questions that go with it, which you will submit in that assignment. The last thing is uh, there is a film. The link is on Schoology. It's The Last Man on Earth, 1964. This is a film by uh, or starring Vincent Price, who's a famous horror movie um, actor, in which you may recognize his face. You should. We've watched him before. And I will be posting today the questions that go along with that movie, but the movie itself is going to take you almost two hours to watch. Um, so by the time you've watched that movie, I will have your questions ready to go. Okay, so American Horror, again, those are your jobs. And then last but not least, creative writing. You guys have a couple things due um, this week as well. You've got first a discussion board that's kind of acting in place of um, a warm up and like a class discussion um, where I'm having you do a free write. I've given you a picture and I'm having you just kind of free write a story from any point of view, any genre, but it has to be based on that picture. Um, and I'm asking you once you've done that, that you go back and just kind of look at what some of your classmates wrote. This idea that a picture is worth a thousand words. What words are you going to apply to that picture? Um, there is also information about about an assignment that says the Chronicles of Herrick Burdick, Harris Burdick, excuse me, picture story draft. Um, read through that assignment, and then once you've read through that, you're going to go to the folder that says the Chronicles of Harris Burdick, and there is um, a uh, the folder is full of pictures from this book. Um, it's called the Chronicles of Harris Burdick, and you are going to pick one to use with your assignment. Okay. Um, the last thing that you will see in that folder right now are some writing resources that you're going to find useful for this assignment. One of them has to do with um, formatting dialogue, which is something that some of us are not 100% clear on. And then there's a really interesting article about how to balance dialogue within your story that I would like you to spend some time looking at this week as well. Um, my, my creative writing folks, by the way, um, I spoke with Sarah Glenn Marsh, our guest speaker yesterday, and interviewed her. Um, so I will be posting that video for you um, today, and I'll put the instructions on how to write your letters to her, which will technically be your last assignment um, that I'd like you to do this week as well. Okay, so um, I'm sorry that everybody had to sit through all of that, but you get to see my pretty face. <laughs> okay, um, and my lovely bookshelf behind me. Um, my biggest thing, folks, is please don't fall behind. I know that stuff happens. I know that some of us are going to be sick. Some of us are babysitting siblings. Some of us are still having to work insanely. Um, you are still a student. School is still happening. You need to keep up with your assignments, and you've got a little bit of wiggle room for when things are due. But these are all grades, and at the end of this quarter, though, you know, that that date might change because of all this crazy stuff. But, you know, when, when this quarter ends, when Mr. Schwarzlander says cut off grades, if you haven't done this stuff, it's going to be zeros, okay? So you can work at your own pace a little bit, but you've got to keep up. Make a schedule. Make a to-do list, please. And if you're struggling, for the love of all things holy, email me. Do not wait until you've got 12 assignments backed up and you're freaking out, okay? Um, Guys, have a great day. Um, keep yourself healthy. Keep yourself safe. Get out and take a walk if you can, maybe. Read a good book. Um, and just take care of yourselves, okay? Email me if you have any questions. Have a great day. Bye.